So, um, I got back from a brunch for my job. A little bit of like a brunch thing at a restaurant going on. Um, didn't really work today at all. Went to a thing for my job, um, to a restaurant, and I guess for appreciate appreciating the workers and appreciating what we all do. I uh, went to a rest, a pretty nice restaurant I haven't been to in a long time and uh, had a three course meal and had a lot of stuff going on. So um, that is why I've got my college shirt. I've been dressed kind of all right today. Um, going to this, and what's even better is that we're going into this bye week and stress free football week and going into this bye with a lot of thoughts on my mind. Um, a lot of past thoughts, a lot of things that, you know, we know how this team has, you know, done coming off the bye week. And to this point, we don't know what's going to happen. What I know what's going to happen is that the Eagles will not have a slow struggling start, especially against one of the most important games of the year, of the season. Um, this team is, is off, has been off to a fantastic start and going to be going down the last seven games of the season to hopefully make it for a division title, hopefully a playoff run. Um... I know a lot of fans um, are excited. A lot of fans have their chests out. And we all deserve to have our chests out. We are always known to have be the fan base that has our chests out. Each and every year. But that's where the passion is and that's where it comes from. We deserve from all this shit. That we've gotten the past few years from other fan bases, division rival fan bases, from all this shit that we've been taking the past few years. We deserve to flaunt. We deserve to taunt. We deserve to fucking have our chests out. Like I said before, have our fucking chests out and make everyone else feel like shit. You know why? Because they deserve to feel like shit. And we deserve to be on the high horse and celebrate. Okay? This is not being cocky. This is being proud. Proud of from the front office to the head coach and all the other coaches to every single player that plays on that field week in and week out. Proud of this team, of where it's going, and proud to see where this is going to take us. And a bright future, a bright shining fucking light is upon us, and the future just smells fucking great. Not only because of what we have now. Not only because what we've acquired, but down the road, all you can do is add pieces, get better. And when you think about it, they said it during the Broncos game, which I was glad they actually said it. The better players you have on your team, the better competition, the better depth you will have on this team with Wide receiver like Alshon Jeffrey, Nelson Aguilar, a tight end like Zach Kurtz, a quarterback like Carson Wentz against these corners that we have. Defensive line, offensive line, especially running back now. With Jay Ajayi going to be taking a good bulk load of carries going forth to the rest of this season. It can only get better. Like, I'm just saying, 
For all the rival fans out there, this is a new Philadelphia now. This isn't old Philadelphia. This isn't choke Philadelphia. This is a new regime with Doug Peterson. And the gunslinger, Carson fucking Wentz. A fucking quarterback that we fucking stole from the league. And is having one of the... The best sophomore year I have seen in a long time from any quarterback. What I see, what I feel, what I think before and after every game is crazy. It's surprising. It's surprising because so much bad shit has happened. Organizations go through their slumps. Not just because of front the front office, but because of head coaches. And us fans deserve this and everything that fucking comes with it. Whether if it's just a division title, whether if it's just one playoff win, whether it's maybe making it to the promised land this year. We'll never know. We will know in eight weeks. We will know. Seven weeks. Probably six weeks. Probably five weeks. We will know by that time. Because, yeah, we're 8 1 right now. But nobody, absolutely nobody, can bitch about. How we're playing, what's working, what's not working. All cylinders are running on this fucking team. And not even just all cylinders of the team, but the coaches have brought out the best in players. The front office is allowing Howie to wheel and deal and do what he thinks is right to add the pieces to this team. Number one. Timmy Jernigan. Number two. Ronald Darby. Number three. Jay Ajayi. This can only get better. The league better watch itself. Now. Do I think we're going fucking 15 and 1? No. No. I think we'll have a very good positive record this year with one loss on our belt right now. Which is to a week where we played a team that we stood up against that I made in my video. I was not mad over the loss against the Kansas City Chiefs because we stood up to them. We showed them we could keep up with them and we could stay with them. But at the time, everyone else does not know because everyone thinks, oh, you still lost against the Kansas City Chiefs. But everyone doesn't know. That we didn't have a run game. We were on a huge question mark about this head coach in his second year. That no one is ever going to fucking say. There's no, oh, you guys sucked against the against the Kansas City Chiefs. But they had no idea what we were. We were trying to find our true identity in some aspects of right now. Maybe we're still trying to find that. But at the same time, we're a very balanced team. The most balanced team in the NFL. In every fucking position that we have on our team. Plus special teams. We have done as much as we possibly can to acquire whatever players we could. And we can and with especially with Jay Ajayi now, I think we're a lot more solidified in that backfield now. Um it's bringing out the best in players. Starters bring out the best in all the backups and all the depth. And that's where it counts. Yeah, we lost against Kansas City, but I wasn't upset about it because I said, wow, this team fucking stood up and and fought them hard through turnovers. It was just probably the worst game of the year. That was our worst game of the year, was that Kansas City Chiefs game. But this is the message that I'm just sending to you guys because there is a lot to look forward to. And Eagles fans, pump. 
Put your fucking chest out and talk as much fucking shit as you possibly can because of the shit we fucking have taken from other fan bases about the shit that we've dealt with. And the people that have gone ghost and disappeared, especially on YouTube. Huh. Nobody keeps their word. No one's true until week 16. Until you see if anyone else makes videos. Until you see if you stood around and, and keep fighting, keep supporting behind your team, whether they win or fucking lose horribly. That's where it all counts, guys. I will see you guys later. Go fucking birds. Fuck the NFC East. And Eagles fans, fucking pump your damn chest out and fucking talk as much shit as possible because you deserve to talk as much shit as you possibly can to fucking anybody. So let's fucking do it. See you guys later. Peace.